Good morning! Today I had 12 30. Today I had the earth shattering idea to be a copy critic for today. So I brought along my best friend Jessica and we're gonna go to a few coffee places and overdose on caffeine. Smoking smoke. kids! Coffee. We got our first coffee from Hemingway's Nook. Um, I'd rate the atmosphere a honestly five out of five. It's so cute in here. The price is pretty standard. It was like four seventy five for the size, which is like twelve ounces, I'd say. Which is pretty normal. Pretty normal. And we got like a specialty drink too. So we got a honey graham latte and. I'd say it's kind of sweet, but not too sweet. Mm -hmm. It's um, definitely like flavored. It tastes like white chocolate, kind yeah. of. It has a flavor, but you can also still taste the espresso, which I like. So you actually be like you're drinking coffee. I'd rate the coffee. Give it like a four point seven. Yeah, four point six seven out of five. Out of five. I look like <gasps> Hemingway after. I look like. <laughs> I look like like Hemingway after like a bad night at a bar or something. After drinking too much alcohol while trying to write a book and yeah. failing. I feel like old man in the sea, but like after sitting in the sea for a few hours. Oh. Okay, but we got these uh, so we got chocolate covered java beans and they yeah. have a ton of different flavors and we've been eating those, they're really good. Oh no, so they had here, here dark off. chocolate, mint, uh, Cheetah. white chocolate. They oh, were called like cheetah. The These are the okay. These are the cheetah ones. See, they're all cheetah looking. This is something <laughs> dark chocolate, and then there's the white chocolate. And then ones. Oh, wait, wait. I have a first white chocolate. Uh, and here's another. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it still. And here's Five another one roll. of the mint ones. Uh, it, it's not too dirty. <laughs> it's good. I'll pay for it. Um, these five out of five. They're amazing. And yeah. she gave us extra. So she was so nice. If you live near Columbus or you ever visit, this place is one of the cutest. second place called um Win winnings winnings chocolates and coffee it's, it um, smells good in here it's really quiet in here in the atmosphere i'd give it about a 2.7 out of five it's like i mean it looks nice in here but it's like minimalistic really minimalistic the music is nice mm -hmm. um, it's like peaceful it's very peaceful in here but i feel so it'd be good for like studying i'd say I just feel out of place, and I feel like I'm in an insane asylum. Okay, but I give the presentation a five out of five for sure. These ladybugs are adorable. They have feet too. 
and this is super pretty. We got like a mocha latte and it's so pretty. Okay, so I have my thoughts. Do you have your thoughts? I haven't like gotten to the coffee part. I just had the stuff on top. Mm, I like it. It's coffee, but it has so like chocolate. it tastes really coffee. It tastes like very bitter espresso, but the mocha in it gives it like a boost. Mm -hmm. It's like so it tastes too. better so, like, than you just taste espresso at first, and then like the chocolate. So stuff. I'd give it a, I'd give it like a 4.2 yeah. out of 5. That does taste familiar. And this place is really cute. Okay, yeah, so we're at Boston Stoker now. This is a disgusting angle, but um, atmosphere. What were we gonna rate the atmosphere? Like a four point five. It's like pretty good. It's just the. It's like in this weird plaza, which is kind of area, but it's cute. The inside is cute. Like here, hold on. So I think this is about, um, I guess, like, it costs around the same as Starbucks. It's, oh, it's about, it's, like, typical. Um, presentation, five. Five, five out of five. It looked really pretty. And taste, I'd honestly give it, like, a 4.5. I'd give it, like, a 4.5. 4.3, 4.4. I give it 4.5. I like it a I lot better it. than the last place. She just hates mochas also. So it's this one's more. It's like, like a caramel latte. If we didn't say that earlier. It's you can taste the espresso, but it also it has, has like, like a herby, like a herb kind of. Yeah, kind of like organic. Taste? Yeah, it tastes like herb, like herbs, herbs. It's not very sweet, but it also has flavor, so it's kind of like a crisp espresso, if that makes sense. Nope, sorry. Yeah. place we've so actually we're been our, here before yeah this is a cult favorite <laughs> but um oh it's red velvet yeah uh she got the lavender milk, milk tea. tea gotta change it up i rate this a five because I, it's my favorite thing ever and i have an obsession with lavender i got a iced caramel soy latte i rated about a three out of five not not hitting the spot um atmosphere about a 3.5 because it's really it's really and small crowded. and crowded and loud and it's just stressful yeah. honestly i don't really want to sit in I here i can't hear the music either so no aesthetically yeah. amazing music i guess um price is about average uh, presentation average they kind of just handed us our cups so all, overall this place is probably like a four honestly but like if you come here milk tea yeah i'd go for time. tea rather than coffee if you it's my favorite thing ever so. um i want to die thank you i kind of feel sick do you want to rank them 
Um, yeah, let's rank them. Okay, so my favorite was the first one, the Hemingways. Hemingways first. Um, what was the third one? Boston something? Boston Stoker second. Two. Red Velvet um, three, I would say. Just because I'm obsessed with their teeth. For me, the third one was the... Uh, with, uh, I don't remember. Why... Why... Wim, Wimers? Wine... Winners? <laughs> Um, figure out what that was. And for me, the fourth one was Red Velvet because for some reason they just messed up my dream. Yeah. I'm kind of dissociating now in, uh, this is enough. Sorry. That's all. Um, if you liked this for some reason, uh, make sure to thumbs it up and hit subscribe because I'm uploading every freaking day this month. It's every day, bro. Thanks, bye! <laughs>